Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I thank the gentleman, the chairman of the Judiciary Committee, and appreciate this bill coming to the floor. Uh, I, I hear this discussion, and it seems to me there's a consistent theme that the people on the other side of the aisle are opposed to uh, bringing leverage to political subdivisions to bring about law enforcement. And uh, they assert that nothing in this bill could have prevented uh, the, the tragic murder of Kate Steinle. And I would suggest that if we had no sanctuary jurisdictions in America, there's a lot greater chance that his deportation would have stuck. And if we had a president of the United States who worked to get our law enforcement officers to coordinate at each level of our political subdivisions, rather than litigate when they do mirror federal law, likely uh, we had a chance to prevent not only her tragic death, but that of thousands and thousands of others. Um, I'm, I support this bill. It is, it is encompassed within an amendment that I brought to the floor here on June 3rd that passed with 227 votes. I congratulate Duncan Hunter for his persistence on this legislation that's six years long. I'm grateful to be working on an immigration issue with the second generation of hunters, and I see there's much more enforcement that's ahead of us. But this is a step and it's a step that helps us find out are people for a threat of enforcement and bringing some leverage to try to bring the political subdivisions in line rather than having them flout the law, which they've consistently done and has grown dramatically under the uh, Obama administration. But uh, I would add that there are much more, there's much more that I'd like to do, much more to do. I'd like to move Kate's law. Matt Salmon's brought some of that. I'd like to make it incremental so it goes from a five-year mandatory to a 10-year mandatory on second offense and move it up the line. I'd like to make E-Verify mandatory. I'd like to pass a new ID act so the IRS can help enforce this. I'd like to build a fence, a wall, and a fence, Madam Speaker. And I'd like to repass the border bill that we did last summer. There are a good number of things. By the way, we need to make detainers mandatory, and we need to tighten up the loophole language. All of that we've got a chance to do after Labor Day. Today, we need to do what we can Gentlemen's do, and that's time pass has this expired. bill.